In recent times, countries are ramping up their game in military strength to keep their lands safe from possible threats. A big part of this military boost is about improving air defense systems, which are key to spotting, tracking, and taking down threats from the sky. And regarding air defense system, China and India both growing powers with big military goals, have put a lot of money into advanced missile systems, the HQ-22 and S-400 respectively to make their skies safer and scare off potential threats. And today, in this video we will try to compare these both countries' well-known air defense systems, India's Russian-made S-400 and China's HQ-22. The Indian S-400 Triumph, known as the S-400, is a highly advanced Russian-made air defense missile system designed to engage a wide range of aerial threats. It's known for its capability to intercept and destroy incoming aircraft, unmanned aerial vehicles, cruise missiles, and ballistic missiles. On the other side, China has the HQ-22, which is also made to stop threats from the sky. It's a newer version of an older system, made by a big company in China called the China Aerospace Science and Industry Corporation. The operational range is how far a missile system can hit targets. The HQ-22, used by China's army, can hit targets up to 170 kilometers which is about 110 miles away. On the flip side, India's S-400, which comes from Russia, can hit targets up to 400 kilometers which is about 248.5 miles away, and can track threats from as far as 600 kilometers away. The S-400 can reach out and hit targets much farther away compared to the HQ-22. This difference is big because it means India's S-400 system can cover a lot more area and keep a larger part of the country safe from threats coming from the sky. The height at which missile systems can hit targets is called the engagement altitude. For the Chinese HQ-22 system, it can hit targets that are between 50 meters to 27 kilometers high. On the other hand, the Indian S-400 system can hit targets up to 30 kilometers high. The exact lowest height the S-400 can hit is not clear, but a similar system the S-300 can hit targets as low as 25 meters. So, it's likely that the S-400 can hit targets at a similar low height too. Again here, the S-400 can hit targets at higher heights compared to the HQ-22. The HQ-22 missile system is really good at tackling multiple flying threats at the same time. It has the capability to launch 12 missiles to engage up to 6 targets simultaneously and can engage up to 36 targets with 72 missiles when multiple fire units are coordinated through a command and control vehicle. Its missiles use semi-active radar to find their way and can take on a variety of threats like ballistic and cruise missiles, aircraft, helicopters, and drones. On the other hand, the S-400 missile system has a remarkable target engagement capability, designed to handle a broad spectrum of aerial threats. It can track and engage up to 80 targets simultaneously. In terms of the types of threats it can target, the S-400 is highly versatile. It is capable of engaging various airborne targets including aircraft of all types, helicopters, cruise missiles, and ballistic missiles. Furthermore, the S-400 can also target and neutralize unmanned aerial vehicles or drones. Its advanced radar systems and multifunctional radars allow it to detect, track, and engage stealth aircraft as well, making it one of the more capable air defense systems in the world. Again, if we compare, the S-400 can do more things and hit more targets at the same time compared to the HQ-22. The Chinese HQ-22 system has missiles that can go as fast as Mach 6, which is about 7,402 km per hour. On the other hand, the Indian S-400 system has different kinds of missiles with different speeds. One of its missiles, named 40N6E, can go up to Mach 3.5, which is around 4,345 km per hour. Another one, named 48N6DM, can go faster at Mach 5.9, which is around 7,242 km per hour. So here, the missiles from the Chinese HQ-22 system can go faster than some of the missiles from the Indian S-400 system. 
The Chinese HQ-22 and Indian S-400 missile systems both use radars to spot, follow, and hit targets in the sky. The HQ-22 has a single radar that helps guide its missiles towards the targets. On the other side, the S-400 has a bunch of different radars that can spot threats from up to 340 kilometers away and can't be easily jammed. These radars can also keep an eye on up to 80 targets all at once. While both systems' radars help them in defending against threats from the sky over medium to long distances, the S-400 has more advanced radars. The info out there shows that China has been working on moving HQ-22 anti-aircraft systems quickly to different places within China using big Y-20 transport planes during recent drills. But, the exact number of HQ-22 units China has isn't clear from the sources. On the flip side, India has bought five groups of the S-400 missile system, and each group has 40 launchers which is 8 per battalion. Together, these groups can shoot up to 160 missiles at the same time. Up till now, three of these S-400 groups are working and placed by India's borders with China and Pakistan, making India's air defense stronger in these key areas. The last two groups are set to be ready by 2023, as part of India's bigger plan to boost its air defense setup. While both the S-400 and HQ-22 missile systems are significant advancements in the air defense capabilities of India and China respectively, the S-400 appears to have an edge in several aspects. Even the S-400's international recognition and procurement by several countries underline its superior capabilities and trust in its performance on the global stage. Hence, while the HQ-22 is a significant asset for China's air defense, the S-400 stands out as a more advanced and versatile system in comparison. Thank you for joining us in exploring these modern Sky Guardians. If you found this comparison insightful, do hit the like button, share, and subscribe for more military tech insights. Your support fuels our content. Until the next video, stay curious and keep exploring.